Hello everyone, let's start uh, doing our evaluation. So first of all, I will be launching this tensor board. So if I run that code, so if you don't know, you can actually launch this uh, tensor board uh, inside your yellow V5 also. And you can see there are some random dispatch like uh, here I have just considered 10 epochs. So that's why sometimes it is like uh, my accuracy is like high, sometimes it is low. And sometimes my loss is uh, very high, sometimes it is low, okay. Uh, so that's why but if you are taking more number of epochs okay you will get uh, your relevant results now as of now it's fine now let's skip that and uh, and uh, if you just run that one so you can check your like gpu so i got this uh, tesla k80 but for you it might be different now if you just run that code okay so results are png so actually you can uh, see like all your results okay in just one place so see, this is your train uh, box and uh, train object box and train classes, okay? And your MAP score, okay? And the loss, all you can get in just one place. Uh, and uh, these are the files actually saved here, okay? So if you just do ref uh, refresh and if you just go inside train and this yellow V5S results, so we'll get all the results, okay? All the results and all the images, okay, we'll be getting from here. Now let's uh, see your ground truth value. So see the uh, see this is our ground tooth and uh, let's see the prediction. So see these are some prediction on top of our augmented data. Okay, and uh, here you can see it is just giving one two three four like uh, that. Okay, it is just giving the class like that. But if you want to see uh, the text also like your uh, language also like uh, that means like you are trying to say uh, thank you. Okay, so if you want to see the Thank you on top of that. So you need to uh, like run another code. I'll be showing you. So let's uh, see first of all our models. So we have two models or base.py and last.pt. Uh, base.pt and last.pt. And here uh, we'll be doing the uh, like uh, inferencing by using our base.pt. Okay. Because this is the model we have trained. And you can see this is the model. And uh, here I'll be using this detect.py, okay, because uh, YOLO v5 already has written uh, this uh, detect.py for us. So here we just need to pass our model, model path. So you just copy the path from here. So see, uh, this is my this is my model. This is my model. Just copy the path and just paste it, okay, and. Uh, Define your image size also and your confidence score. Like I have selected 0 0.5 and your source images. Okay, I have my test images inside test uh, slash uh, images. Okay, now if I just run it, so what it will do, it will predict all my test images. So see, it has predicted and it has saved our results inside run. So let me refresh, run, detect, and experiment. And you can see all the detection are here. Actually, you cannot see any detection uh, because uh, I have just trained uh, with, uh, you can say, uh, 10 number of epochs. OK, so that's why you are not get, uh, getting any detection uh, because my confidence score is like very high. Uh, but if you want to see the detection, so you can reduce the confidence confidence score suppose 0 0.1 but if you're training around uh, uh, 300 uh, 300 epochs so you'll get your results okay for sure uh, but just for experiment purpose uh, I've just taken 10 number of epochs now if I refresh and uh, if I show you the results so here uh, it is not giving any prediction because we have trained very less number of epochs so I've already trained uh, this model around uh, 300 epochs, and these are my prediction. Okay, so see, these are my prediction. It is predicting good. So just make sure you just uh, train it around uh, 300 epochs. Okay, you will be getting your results. Now we'll I'll be saving that model so that like I can use it uh, for future purpose. Suppose if I want to create any kind of web application, uh, suppose if I want to create any kind of web application or uh, do any other task. Okay, so that I can use that model because now if I just uh, uh, close my collab. Okay, so this file would be like deleted okay but i want my model would be saved okay so that's why first of all i need to uh, mount my drive with my collab because uh, this model i just want to copy uh, collab from my drive so that like 
uh, after that so that like uh, future purposes okay i can uh, refer that uh, model okay so i need to give the permission okay it has been mounted i'll do refresh see this is my d drive uh, my drive inside i have research uh, so here you'll be selecting where you want to save your model uh, sign language detection model okay inside model folder i'll be saving that so i'll be copy that folder and uh, this is the path i will be changing here and my model is inside like uh, let me show you so inside uh, run train yellow v5s results weights just copy that path and paste it here okay and if i just run it so it has copied the model so let me show you so this is my drive actually here i have saved my model now if i do refresh here yeah so see this is the model it has copied from your collab uh, so that is uh, so that's it guys actually uh, this is the yolo v5 actually it is very small and it is like very easy now you have your model like you have your best uh, model checkpoint but here I'm not going to use that model because here I am I have just uh, trained with a uh, 10 number of box, but uh, uh, previously I have trained around uh, uh, 300 box. Okay, that model I'll be using and we'll be like uh, doing the inferencing on our local uh, and uh, you can uh, use that code. Okay, for creating any kinds of web application. Okay, so as of now, we have seen like uh, on top of images, like how to do the prediction, but in our local, we'll be doing the uh, inferencing uh, from the video. Okay, video sequence. So Yes, guys, that's, that was uh, all about from my side and uh, I hope you have liked it and uh, let's meet at the next video and implement our uh, video sequence. Thank you.